I assumed you guys did more stuff than you let on. Love you both, but everyone sins. How dare you assume that? What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. And this is the, the Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan the, the Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan show. show. So today's video, assumptions about our dating experience. We put it out on Instagram, said for you guys to ask us anything and everything because we want to provide value. Here's what we did. Here's how it went, the good, maybe the not so good. Yeah, we're getting real. Y'all sent in some pretty interesting assumptions and we're not gonna shy away from them. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. We make Christian videos on life, love and dating to help you have hope. And be free. So guys, this video is all about really diving into dating and the ins and outs. And if you're in that phase and you're like, I want to know more. We have our book, Intentional Dating, Your Need to Know Questions Answered. We've specifically made this as kind of like a special go-to guide for you to keep close, keep on hand, very practical, to the point. I think you guys are gonna like it. Get it on Amazon, we'll link it below. Let's jump right into it. Morgan, the first assumption. I assume your dates were boring. <laughs> Wait, are, are, is the trend gonna be negative on these assumptions? I scanned some of them in a lot of positives, but we started out, we got a negative one. Okay, I assume your days were boring. You're wrong! <laughs> um, our days were always really fun. It's not like we went out and did super crazy things, but like we would go out with um, his group of friends and like some of my favorite memories of our dating experience was when it was like winter time, snowing, downtown Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah. We would go with his friends to like a coffee shop or like a Panera that's downtown and we would all set up our chess boards and play chess together. So that might prove that might sound boring to some people but it wasn't boring to us no it wasn't we boring had to us. a lot of fun and i think some might assume your dates were boring because they know how long we waited to do physical things but it's like there was so much other stuff that we could do getting to know each other experience without doing the physical so don't buy into that lie that you have to be physical or it's going to be boring next assumption i assume you clicked instantly like the connection was there right off the bat. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. I felt like it was an instant <laughs> click. Yeah, um, yes and no. I was really trying to figure this guy out. Like right. I did not, I was, like, we had a really good first date. It was really fun, um, but, but my mystery, like no, no. my mystery was so strong <laughs> in the best way that she was like, what do I do with this guy? He's brilliant and confusing. <laughs> no, that's not what was going through my mind. Oh, uh, what was? So, um, just like, who is this guy? Right. He is a creature of the unknown. He's so <laughs> weird. Weird. Oh, weird? <laughs> Pure and innocent. And he's never kissed a girl. And he's 26 years old and he's a virgin and he loves Jesus like way more than anything else in this world. What the heck? <laughs> All right, so you guys get it. But was there a click to where like after an hour in, we were both kind of like, oh, this is cool. I'm connecting with this person. I'm seeing potential here. Yeah, sure. there was. I'm gonna speak for both of us, there was. I assume that Paul is gay. <laughs> where do we, where do we go Listen, from here? Listen y'all, if Paul is gay, then I'm a dude. Cause he can't keep his hands of me. <laughs> this is taking a turn. <laughs> um, so you want the long answer or the longer answer? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, guys, I am not gay. I love this woman right here. And I am a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you she's a woman. I assume your parents thought it would not last. I do think that my parents thought that, yeah. <laughs> they thought and perhaps they thought hoped. and prayed that it was. <laughs> they, my parents, for those of you who maybe uh, haven't seen previous videos, were not real on board right initially. Um, I didn't do a great job of bringing Morgan around, partly because of how opinionated and strong-willed my mom is. But yeah, they they were skeptical of Morgan and I, and didn't necessarily think it was the best fit, and so we had to navigate that. And it wasn't easy, but 
praise the Lord, my parents have come around and my mom and Morgan have a very sweet relationship. My parents were more like, they were just kind of like, well, this will be interesting to see where this goes. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like they too had their like, hmm, Paul's yep. several years older than Morgan. You guys met where? I don't think we, I don't think we told them that how we met that we met on Tinder for a while. For a while, but yeah. still, I think they were like, "How did you guys meet? Uh -huh. um, what mutual friends did you have?" I assume there were days that boundaries were almost broken. Obviously, there was temptation, like for both of us, and when we would start kissing, like we told you all in the last video that we posted, that we made out when we were like. Almost engaged. It was like right after he asked my dad for permission, we started kissing. That revved everything up. Yeah. It did. Because, you know, you you can't just do a Like, it's a kiss, and then it's a longer kiss, and then it's making out. Um, And so, like, we made out, and so that, of course, like, stirred up hormones and temptations and yeah. desires. So when you assume there were there were days that boundaries were almost broken maybe not the ultimate boundary of not having sex like that wasn't almost broken but boundaries of where the hands need to stay and perhaps other i guess you could call them like <laughs> minor boundaries or uh gateway boundaries <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, again when you start making out and, and that's why i've shared with you guys that i would have waited to kiss even longer, even though I did wait till I asked her dad for permission, yeah. I would have waited longer. Yeah, I mean, you want to like start sitting on the lap, you want to sit real close, you want to, your hands want to go places. You're... Your hugs are so, yeah, so long, so intimate, just mm -hmm. holding on to that person and it can get, you know. Yeah, so absolutely, the temptation was there to break them, but. Were we perfect? No, but. You know, praise the Lord, we were very intentional. And that was all God, okay? We're not trying to like... That song, God! How did we get words. so much favor on our side? Ugh. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I just went, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, that happened a few times this video. I assume that Paul had more dating experience than Morgan when you met. <laughs> Wink face. It Wink was different. face like that's a joke? No, I'm just kind of like, I, I think Paul did. Um, I had dated more people. You had been in longer relationships. Yeah, he had gone on single dates with lots and lots and lots and lots of girls. <laughs> I had been in very long relationships with like two guys. I was in two like three year relationships three and a half year relationships that's six and a half years of, of your life in a relationship yeah and then i very shortly dated like a few guys but i'd say that i had more experience i mean i definitely had more experience but so i think i had more experience all right <laughs> i assume that you wanted to kiss each other really badly before Ooh. like before we did kiss yeah I did. I wanted to kiss Paul really badly. She did. She really did. <laughs> he would actually, he would let me kiss him on the cheek. And it would get close. It, you guys, <laughs> I would purposely I, like kiss I him. I wish that you could have seen this. I, I said, Morgan, like, I don't want to, I just don't want to kiss on the lips. I don't want to go there yet. And so it would be, mm, 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 and then I would, you know, be turning and do something and turn back and mm, like, right. You got to watch this one. I assume you guys did more stuff than you let on. Love you both, but everyone sins. How dare you assume that? Paul, like he has said several times, if we could do our dating experience over, there were some things that he would change about it. Am I a perfect man? No. <laughs> but I feel very confident that we were very strict and intentional about our boundaries and we stuck to them like because we had our mindset on this goal of like we are gonna make it to marriage like being pure innocent like save ourselves for one another and when you say we all sin like i know what you're saying but you know let's strive for holiness let's strive to make the sinning with the help of jesus less and less 
Yeah, let's stop using the excuse of, well, we all sin, so it's okay that I did this or that. I assume you probably didn't date long enough to have a major disagreement before marriage. That's a good question. Because you know, we've told you guys that our dating was about four months. We were engaged for about four months. So yeah, you might think that. <laughs> yeah, you might think that. <laughs> but that is false. Yeah, I mean... We probably had... I would just guesstimate, and I'm sure we're gonna have people tro like, trolling oh, you on here. Fought yeah, your whole dating and engagement. You fought <laughs> in only four months or eight months. Wow! Oh my Pathetic. goodness! Red flags. Like <laughs> we were just very real, raw, intentional. We weren't messing around and going longer than we needed to. So we were bringing up and dealing with stuff quickly. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of a hard guy to. I mean, I can I can be tough to. He's just very intense, and when he gets his mind set on something, like he's gonna go for it and do everything that needs to be done to so, get there. Right, so I probably said some things, I know I did, said some things in a rash way that should have been said more delicately. And uh, so yeah, when we, we had several doozies. When you're being very intentional and you're talking about these things that a lot of people wait to talk about for sometimes a year, two mm -hmm. years, three years, whatever, like, you know, things are going to come up and that's okay because if you're meant to be together, if you want to be together, like you're going to be able to work through it. And yeah. It I've work. Heard, right. And I've heard people say like, be careful about getting married to someone before you've had a big fight to see how you guys fight, you know, to see how the person reacts when they're under so much tension and angry at the other person. Cause some people just go off the heezy. When, and then it's like, oh, I did not know that person had that in them. And so it's good to be aware of that. I assume y'all were a little embarrassed to admit to your family you met on Tinder. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I assume you never spent time alone with each other. We were intentional about the time we spent alone. We were careful about the late nights alone, but... Yeah, we spend some time alone together. There are times when it's appropriate to spend one-on-one -on -one time together. Absolutely. I assume that Paul is very controlling. <laughs> hey! Who said that? <laughs> You're supposed to say, Morgan, be quiet. <laughs> Morgan, I need you to step out of the room. I mean, <clears throat> I mean... <laughs> Morgan, butterfly. <laughs> no, Paul is not controlling. He is very loving. And I feel like people are like, Oh, Paul's so controlling because he wanted Morgan and him to have boundaries in their relationship. Uh -huh. Oh, Paul's so controlling because he forgave Morgan for her sexual sins. <laughs> like, you all... Oh, goodness gracious. Does this face look like the face of a controlling man? <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I, I honestly, I don't want to joke too much about that because... There are absolutely men that are controlling and- That you would never guess that they're like abusive and yeah. controlling. I mean, I, I asked the God, if Morgan were to say like, I do feel kind of like Paul's somewhat controlling. Like I would take that before the Lord. I would take it to other men in my life, but I'm grateful that she's like, no. And you better believe that if I felt like he was controlling or abusive or harmful or hurtful to me or trying to lead me down a path that was not being led by God, like I would say something. And the people in our lives, our mentors, our accountability partners would also speak into our lives and call Paul out, okay? We have set people in our lives to speak into us in, in our marriage, in our day-to-day -day separate lives and given them the permission to just speak out if they see something wrong. Guys, comment below if any of the ways we answered those assumptions surprised you or if you have more assumptions. I really like reading the comments and responding to them. Hit us up. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the assumptions that we answered. Patron of the week, Kiara. Thank you, Thank Kiara. You. We love you. We are so grateful for you. You're awesome. Guys, if you want to go deeper with us, if you want to support what we're doing here on this YouTube channel, what we're doing full time, consider becoming a patron of ours. Go to patreon.com slash Paul and Morgan show. Love to have you guys. We make exclusive, that word is just exclusive. We do put out exclusive content for our patrons because we want to go deeper with you guys and bless you all as well. But you guys are just a huge blessing to Morgan and I. Thank you for supporting us. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. We'll catch you again very soon. Have hope. <laughs> Be free. <laughs> <laughs>
I've said it before. I wouldn't touch Morgan with it. <laughs> with a nine foot pole while we were dating.